fighting with anybody to say we, 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 we object in totality, but there are certain things that need grinding out, and those things cannot be discussed here. It can only be discussed in a national order where all leaders who can determine on, on, on these issues and on a broader base than just houses. Well, it's yeah. important. The thing is, uh, Andy, because you know, obviously they did a presentation on the conference in Kalana now. Mm -hmm. One would uh, assume that this would obviously was a follow on that, which is obviously not the case. No. Then, uh, the, the question I asked then, uh, how did you know about this conference? Because obviously, if it's, if it's not a follow on on Hernandal as such, then obviously it has different uh, a set of people that are arranging this 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 conference. Correct. Now, uh, I was glad to hear when Rasul said that this Hernandal conference, the primary the primary objective was to confront. The powers that be and make certain demands as the indigenous people of, of, of this country. Now that uh, something like that appeals to me more because it's 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 got a target, it's got a direction. Uh, when you're part of something that you know what the people are doing, you know what they, what what they want. Because my perception right now is uh, a silver rubber poser. The ANC national executive and the general supporters of the ANC and members of the other uh, parties of this country, the way they're behaving for me is like the, the, the Khoisan people don't even exist. Uh, it features nowhere in their vocabulary. Uh, they don't show any concern about it. It's not something that they that even bothers them, uh, and uh, we've still got this uphill battle. We've had this 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 national Khoisan council that has been powerless over all these years. Uh, uh, what I'm interested in is really that is what we want to, want to do to do, but how do we flex our muscles? in order to actually get a hearing uh, because at the moment it seems like that this is not something that for them to for them to bother about we're not even a fly that's flying around their head that we can say you understand mm. you are disturbing them or whatever the case may be uh, at the moment uh, uh, our plight uh, all our ills as a nation uh, are, are, are nowhere even uh, even, even, even known, and uh, the few uh, people that belong to our nation that are swallowed up in the ANC uh, don't even seem to have any influence in, in, in bringing the plight of our people even to that uh, ruling party. Uh, so uh, my, 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 my uh, concern is, uh, Rasul, how do you think that if, you know, if there was any discussion made there, how are we going to get the attention that we need to get and in what way are we going to flex our muscles to be able to, 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 to get that hearing and get that, get that voice? Uh, or, how to, are we going to get uh, built up, bearing in mind that our so-called colored people together with our Khoisan people, uh, the last time I heard we were between about three to two, three, three to five million people. I don't know, eight about million that. total, if you count the colored people. About eight million. Eight million people, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think our total population, the last time I heard, was about 52 million. Yes. 50, 58, 58 if you include all the others because now we've got an influx of people who are here as well. Okay, even if we about say 60 million, million, million we, to have, we uh, 8 million is roughly below 
uh, one sixth hmm. of their pop of their population. Uh, how are so how are we going to get? How are we going to make a, a difference? I know, you know, nothing <coughs> would make a difference. Uh, Two also, things. Uh, there are different ways that we're going to address this. One is politically, by raising the pressure on government. Right, we'll have to mobilize in our communities. But we cannot mobilize in our communities unless we become one nation, one voice. Exactly. And the federation is the leveraging point. If we got the federation together, we can work. Uh, as, as the federation, I've now put together what is called the, the, the Democratic Federation International. And I'm talking to the people in America, I'm talking to the people in West Papua, I'm talking to the people around Africa. You know, 